my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lucy. Be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on my weekly videos. And also be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoy these do not call videos. You guys already know that today we're going to be calling numbers that you should never ever call ever. Don't do this at home, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so the first phone number that you guys should never ever call, especially at 3 a.m. is 701-347-1936. So let me tell you guys the backstory to this haunted phone number. People reported that when you call this very number, you hear mysterious chattering accompanied by strange music. Also, many claim that this number actually brings you a curse and that when you call this phone number, it will do more than just scare you. The number, which is also a source in Castleton, North Dakota, is connected to the game Five Nights at Freddy's, which is super weird because I've been into all the FNAF conspiracies lately. But however, this is kind of unknown. I think that somebody connected to this phone number may have some sort of connection to Five Nights at Freddy's because since all the Five Nights at Freddy's fans that have called this phone number have immediately almost recognized the connection to the game and this phone call, which is super weird. Also, many have made out phrases when listening to this number saying, how are you? I am friendly and I will kill you, which is so scary. So of course we have to call it. You guys don't do it though. Let me take the risk. Hello? Please state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. Why is it asking for my name? Uh, potato. I'm scared. Why are they asking for my name? I'm a potato though. Hello? That's scary! I don't like that! Ew! I don't know what it was saying. Comment down below if you guys could understand anything. I actually couldn't, so I, I don't know. I didn't really see any correlation to Five Nights at Freddy's. Is there anything that really correlated to that? But let me know if you guys did. Alright, so the next possibly scary phone number we're gonna be calling is Santa Claus! <laughs> Hear me out! I know Santa Claus looks like he's a jolly guy, but sometimes he can kinda scare me. Anyways, apparently people say that if you call this Santa Claus person, sometimes at 3 a.m. people have said that Santa Claus has called them back stating that they're going to be on the naughty list. And not only that, they also have heard him viciously eating cookies when they called him at 3 a.m. And that's kind of scary. So I don't really know if this Santa Claus man is haunted, but we're gonna call and see what's gonna happen. Also, this number is 951-262-3062. All right, here we go. Hopefully I'm not gonna be- <gasps> and holiday cheer. Remember, kids, I know who's been naughty and nice. Yeah, that's Merry creepy! Christmas and I'll see you soon! <laughs> Ooh. I kind of want a pony for Christmas. Um, yeah, please don't put me on this naughty list. Thank you, Santa. Bye! Well, that was kind of weird. Okay, guys, so this next number, it might be one of the scariest, the creepiest, and the the eeriest one I'm ever going to call. So this one is actually 630-296-7536. Hear me out. This number apparently can get you in contact with an organizational remodel company. That is, if you want a remodel that possibly could kill you. Well, I'm not even kidding when I say this. Once you call this number, people say that you will be calling Booth World Industries and you will either be led to Booth World's automatic voicemail system message that asks for your name or you might actually get a worker picking up on the other side of the phone that's apparently known to have an app 
absolutely terrifying voice and whatever name that you tell Booth World, apparently their name or whoever's name you tell to Booth World apparently is going to be dealt with and be Booth World's next secret target. Whatever that means, that's what the dark web said. I'm kind of nervous. This number is also said to bring with it a truly eerie feeling when it's called. So I don't know if this is a good idea, but I guess we're gonna do it. All right, we're calling Booth World. I'm kinda scared about this one, honestly. Booth World Industries, your number has been logged and traced. A service representative will be with you shortly for remodeling. We at Booth World Industries say thanks. You have a marvelous day. I'm scared! Did you guys hear that? It said your number has been tracked and traced and they're gonna get back to me. I really don't want them to get back to me. I'm actually really scared right now. Okay, so I know I said the last number was really scary, but this next number might be even worse. So hear me out on this one. This number is apparently really hard to get and really dangerous to share, so I'm not gonna put it on the screen. But apparently, this number is known to be connected to Susie's Drowning. If you haven't heard about Susie's Drowning, this number actually started in the 1970s as a phone number from the United Kingdom. It was often called by many children who were very curious about this horror story. Many of these young kids actually went out to the payphones and they called the number for free and heard a recording of a girl's voice sounding distressed as the girl would call for help and scream in fear. And also, when people would call, often a fraction of the time, they would hear the girl on the other end of the line asking for them to help her, screaming that Susie's drowning, Susie's drowning, help us, help me, help, she's drowning, in a very terrorized voice. Rumor has it that today, it's really hard to find the exact number, but people that have found it said that the call was extremely distressing and they regret it. Well, it looks like it's time to call Susie's drowning number. I don't know about this, guys. This is an emergency. Hang up and dial 911 for directory. I don't think that was Susie's number, but I really hope it wasn't. Okay, let's try this other Susie's drowning number. Welcome to Horizon Wireless. Your call it's not available anymore. I think this number is unable to be reached, or if it is, somewhere deep on the dark web. So Susie's drowning? That haunted number doesn't work anymore, or I just don't have it, which might be a relief. On to the next number. Okay, so this number I found on a random page, and it said that it's spooky, and it says if you push different numbers, apparently it gives you different things. The number is 877-772-7337 and it says it's haunted but I don't really know. It says press number one for a scary story, two for hide and seek, and three if you want a fun song, four for some ASMR which I thought was weird because why would ASMR be on a haunted number? I don't know but I'm gonna find out. We're gonna call it. What the heck? Hello? Oh. I'm gonna play hide and seek. I push two. By Elvin Short. The minister's daughter had just gotten married. After the wedding ceremony, there was a great feast with music and dancing and contests and games. What? When they got to playing hide and seek, the bride decided to hide in her grandfather's trunk up in the attic. They'll never find me here, she thought. As she was climbing to the trunk, the lid came down and cracked her on the head. She fell unconscious inside. That's the creepy. Slammed shut and locked. No one will ever know how long she called for help. Everyone in the village searched for her, and they looked almost everywhere. But no one had thought to look in the trunk. After a week, her brand this new This is wife scary! Gave her up for lost. Years later, a maid went up in the attic looking for something she needed. Maybe it's in this trunk. She, she opened it and no. she laid the missing bride in her wedding dress. But by then, she was only a skeleton. I'm scared. I didn't like that story. The poor bride literally died playing hide and seek, and then the maid found her in the chest. That was really creepy. I kind of want to know what the spooky ASMR is though, so I'm going to literally call one more time just to see what that's going to be. I'm going to do it. The Voice by Elvin Short. Ellen, it whispered, I'm coming up the stairs. I'm on the first step. But they didn't hear her. They didn't come. Then the voice whispered, 
I'm on the top step. This is making me uncomfortable. I'm ending the call. I don't like that one bit. The whispering makes me very uncomfortable. 801-820-0263. So rumor has it when you call this number, you can hear a man whispering creepy things. And some people actually think he's whispering creepy numbers that indicate to a Morse code with a deeper hidden message to it, conveying something really dark and really creepy. People say it's a cry for help, it's a hidden location, or it's even your location in Morse code, which is really creepy. So we're gonna call it and see what happens. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. All right, guys, here we go. But that was so creepy. Okay, I'm calling that number again. That was creepy. I don't know what he was saying, but I'm creeped out. Do you guys hear that? He's whispering numbers. He's like whispering one, 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 three. Okay, that's creepy. I've had enough of that number. Honestly, we're already starting strong. It's because we're in the haunted mansion, but that number was just a little bit too much for me, all right? That was honestly kind of scary. Next haunted number. So the next haunted number we're calling is also pretty creepy. So this one is actually connected to a place called Booth World where they help people reconstruct their life. So something really weird happens when you call this number. Your number has been People that have called Booth World have claimed that they've heard people breathing really deeply and angrily on the other half of the phone. Meanwhile, other people claim that when the lady actually picks up the phone, it says that they've tracked your information via phone line and they know exactly where you're located and they're coming to find you. Other people say that even without somebody physically answering the phone, that they hear a recording saying that your number has been tracked and that your location was permanently logged in their system. Rumor has it that Booth World is a red number. A red number is a number that is used to track down a caller and find their location and actually kill them or murder them or kidnap them or who knows what else? It's really creepy and really messed up. So warning, calling this number is not advised. Do not do this. However, I did get Booth World's number and I'm terrified because there's a lot of rumors about Booth World online and they are not pretty. So the number is 630296. And like I said, do not call these numbers, guys. Don't do it. Let me do it for you. 7536. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if these rumors about Booth World are actually serious. Okay, it's ringing. Are they gonna answer or what? I have a feeling they're not. You have reached Booth World Industries. No way. Your number has been logged and traced. A service representative will be with you shortly. Booth World texted me! We at Booth World Industries say. They said they know where I am? You have a marvelous day. Okay, that's it. I'm I'm ending the call. That is seriously so creepy. I'm not even kidding. Booth World is seriously so creepy, guys. I am not messing with that. I'm never calling that. Do not call that number. They literally just said on the phone, I don't know if you guys heard that, but they said my number has been tracked and logged into their system. So I don't know if that really is a red like district number, but that is terrifying, okay? Next number, I'm creeped out. So this next number we're calling is claimed to hold a very deep and creepy curse to it. This number is 786-519-3708. So people claim that when they have called this number at nighttime, which luckily it's nighttime for me right now, that the guy who answered the phone immediately without them saying anything had whispered their name in a deep and dark voice. People also claim that their phone had immediately shut off all by itself, died, or even broke. And then when the next day came around, they would have extremely bad luck like get in car accidents break a leg get really sick or terminally ill so that there is some weird deep dark curse linked to this number and the guy on the other half of the phone is super creepy so i don't know if that's true or not but we're gonna call this number and find out if it really is true okay we're gonna risk it all let's just get it over with it's scary i'm in a haunted house let's just get this over with <laughs> what that is so creepy. I'm not leaving a message. I'm not leaving a message on that. That is so creepy. He whispered, you have reached the wrong number. So it said a bunch of like random stuff, guys. I don't know what he was saying or what he was trying to say, but comment down below if you guys understood what he was saying. I'm creeped out, okay? I don't want to do this no more. It's too late for this. I'm in the haunted mansion. I can't take it no 
before, but we do have a few more numbers to call, okay? This is spooky! <laughs> so this next number is known to have a hidden message amongst it as well. And this one is apparently known to say a bunch of zeros in a weird tone, which has some kind of deeper Morse code meaning, like that other number we called earlier. But apparently the number that it says is quite long and complex, but somebody marked it all down on a piece of paper, and they linked that to a binary code that they decoded, and they actually decoded what this guy was trying to say in binary language. Using a binary decoder, somebody actually linked this number to be saying the word death, which is super creepy. So this number is known to be haunted and say a lot of different creepy things, so we're gonna call it right now and see if it's really true. I'm scared, okay? All right, here we go, we're calling the number. Hello? Sir? Are you okay? Hello? Okay, that's enough of that. That is a little bit concerning. You could tell that guy was starting to panic a little bit. It literally just said 10100 and then it just glitched out super strange. I think it might have been a recording. I hope it was. So somebody put this next phone number on a website form saying not to ever call it. They said to avoid calling this number at all costs. 480-634-2806 is absolutely one of the worst most cursed haunted numbers that you could ever call. They also wrote that they cannot stop thinking about the time they called this number because it was so terrifying. They literally blocked it off their phone and recommend that nobody ever calls it. But here we are! We're just gonna call it because we just love sacrificing ourselves. <laughs> Hello? Friend? IHOP. IHOP? You wanna go to IHOP? I'm not leaving a message. I swear I heard whoever's on the other end of that line say, I hop, like really scarily, but it was like, I hop. I guess a ghost wants to go and get some I hop. I mean, I'm not judging. I hop is pretty good. <laughs> okay, next number. So the next number we're gonna call today is 858-651-5050. And I found this one on the dark web because we love the dark web. So this is um something strange to listen to claiming from the dark web forum. There is a recording of a man and a woman taking turns saying complete sentences in order to perform a sound quality check on your phone. So we're gonna see if this is true or not. I found this on the dark web, so it should be true. Okay, let's hope somebody answers. Taking a mountain stream is my idea of a good time. Hello? After the death, they went straight home. The hostess taught the new maid to serve. They're not listed in the new phone book. Hello? Uh, is anyone on this line? The juice of lemons makes fine punch. The juice of lemons makes fine punch! Serve the hot rum to the tired heroes. What are they saying? For the cue for the actor to leave. Okay, I've had enough. The lines and weird words, I wonder how long that would have lasted for. I feel like I called that haunted number in a previous video. I know I've done videos like this before, so I apologize if I've already called some of these numbers. I just want to see if they're still spooky, but that was spooky, but concerning spooky. Like, I don't even know what they're trying to convey, if there's like a hidden message. Who knows? It was very strange. So this next number apparently is known to have a man who picks up who either very angrily yells at you and tells you to get off their phone and to stop calling, or other people say they've heard whispers, strange growls, a kid crying, an old lady snoring, and so much more. So they say every time that you call it, you just never know what to expect. So I'm gonna call it 978-4350163. Alright, let's see if anything crazy happens to me. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> sir? Are you are you crying, sir? What's that? They forgot to put your nachos in your taco bell order? Dude, I would be crying too. This is so sad. One like equals one prayer. Hello? 
There was like a really loud screech all of a sudden that hurt my eardrums. I don't know if you guys could hear. But basically there was a man just crying for no reason and that was really concerning. So we do have one last final number that we're going to call tonight. Before I get too scared of staying up in this haunted mansion and calling haunted numbers. But let's call the last number. So this last number I found on a forum and there was no information besides saying that you should not call it. So I'm going to call it without even knowing what's going to happen. This one had zero information. 618-6258-313. Okay, let's see if anything happens. Nothing's happening so far. Hi. You have reached the residence of Murray Bowman. Hello, Murray. Um, if this is you, please hang up and call me between the hours of 5 and 6 p.m. as previously discussed. This is not your mom. If this is Joyce, Joyce. This is not Joyce. I've been trying to reach you. I have, I have an update. Hello? Uh, if this is anyone but my mother or Joyce, well, you, you think you're real clever getting my number, don't you? Okay, I don't know what this is. News for you. You're not clever. You're not special. You are simply one of the many, many nimwits to call here. The closest you will ever get to me is this pre-recorded message. All right, that's it. I, this guy does not want people calling him. Maybe that's why they put it there. He was annoyed with people calling his number. He had to make a voicemail telling people to stop. Anyways, guys, at least nothing super scary happened while I'm in the haunted mansion. Did that photo behind me just change? Okay, well, that was weird. Anyways, at least nothing too crazy happened. But guys, warning, do not call these haunted numbers. And thank you all so much for watching today's video. Be sure to check out my Instagram and my other social medias will be linked down below in the description. So be sure to check them out. Thank you all so much for watching. That was spooky. Remember, do not call those numbers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.